Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Brian Rivera, and I am the Community Engagement Librarian here at the Billie Jean King Main Library. And today I will be joined by my colleague, Ana Garcia Villalbando, the LB Reads Coordinator. And today we'll be going over the state propositions on this year's general election on November 3rd, uh, 2020. Proposition 14 would allow the state to sell $5.5 billion in new bonds to pay for stem cell research and medical treatments. People in favor say stem cell bonds have led to new medical treatments and important research that should be continued. People against say the federal government and private groups are already paying for stem cell research. Proposition 15 would change rules for taxes on commercial property. Taxes would be based on what the property is worth now instead of the purchase price would apply to people who own more than $3 million in commercial property. People in favor say, wealthy companies should pay property tax based on what their holdings are really worth. People against say, raising taxes will increase the cost of everything and will hurt small businesses. Proposition 16 would allow public colleges, universities, and agencies to include race, sex, color, ethnicity, and country of origin as part of their decision-making. People in favor say, will help women and people of color while fighting systemic patterns of discrimination. People against say, the state should treat everyone equally. Proposition 17 would allow people on parole to register to vote in elections. People in favor say, because people on parole pay taxes, they should also be allowed to vote. People against say, when people get out of prison, they should complete parole before being allowed to vote. Proposition 18, would allow 17 year olds to vote in the primary elections if they will be 18 years old by the general election in November. People in favor say would help increase voter participation. If someone will be 18 years old by the general election, they should be allowed to vote. People against say 17 year olds are not mature enough to make important decisions. Proposition 19 would expand the property tax rules for people in special groups. This includes people over 55, people who are disabled and people affected by a natural disaster could help these groups keep lower taxes when they move up to three times. People in favor say, people should not have to pay higher property tax on a new home if they lose their home in a disaster. People against say, 
Prop 19 is a tax increase that was rejected by voters in 2018. Proposition 20 would undo parts of crime laws. Petty theft, crimes could be punished as felonies. Prop 20 allows the state to collect DNA from adults convicted of some misdemeanor crimes, such as drug possession, shoplifting, and domestic violence. People in favor say, Prop 20 prevents violent criminals from getting out early. People against say, Prop 20 wastes millions of dollars on prisons that could be spent on education, healthcare, or affordable housing. Proposition 21, cities and counties could pass rent control rules for housing that is more than 15 years old. People in favor say rent control will help families, senior citizens, and veterans stay in their homes. People against say will make housing less available and less affordable when people are getting back to work. Proposition 22. Rideshare and delivery drivers would stay as independent contractors. Companies would have to pay drivers 20% more than the local minimum wage for time spent driving more than 15 hours per week. People in favor say, forcing companies to hire drivers as employees would get rid of hundreds of thousands of jobs. People against say, treating drivers as employees will ensure that they get paid sick leave and unemployment benefits. Proposition 23 would require dialysis clinics to have a doctor present during all treatment hours. Clinics would need permission from the state before closing or reducing services. People in favor say dialysis is a dangerous procedure and clinics should always have a doctor available. Also protects patients in rural areas. People against say would take doctors away from hospitals and emergency rooms, making California's doctor shortage worse. Proposition 24 would give people increased power over their personal data. Consumers could contact companies to prevent them from sharing or using sensitive personal information. People in favor say, we need to stop companies from tracking everything we do online. People against say consumers should not have to fill out paperwork and send forms to companies in order to protect their information. Proposition 25 would eliminate the current bail system. People charged with less serious crimes would be released before trial. People in favor say the current bail system is unfair. If you cannot afford bail, you must stay in jail. 
people against, say, releasing people from jail will make our communities less safe. I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, please remember that the last day to register to vote in this election is October 19, 2020. So if you haven't already registered to vote, please do so at registertovote.ca.gov. For more information, please visit the following links below and don't forget to make your voice heard and vote. Thank you.